worked the squat, top loaded and low. We've now worked a reverse lunge and a forward lunge. We've worked a step up. We're now gonna work a hip hinge, which works the glutes and hamstrings. So a hip hinge is looking at trying to drive the hips back out as far as we can, keeping the posture back flat, the shoulders back flat, and trying to work those hamstrings to squeeze up. So shoulders pin back, we're gonna push our hips like as far as we can. Our hands are down the side of our body. They stop there and they squeeze through. Now getting that hip hinge is correct, when we bring the dumbbells in, we're now going to do a Roman deadlift. So dumbbells at the side of the body. We bring our shoulder blades back. So our hands in the same position we first demoed with. When we push our hips back, we keep pushing those hips back, we keep pushing those hips back, we keep pushing those hips back, and we stop just past the knees. You can see the bum is back, the back is pulled back flat, and we squeeze the glutes up. The head is looking down at the floor, so there's no stress for the shoulders. We hold and we squeeze through. That Roman deadlift can be made more challenging with more weight. It can also be more challenging with a single leg. So, I'm gonna work my right leg only. My left leg comes back to my heel. I slightly bend it, and I push my right hip back as far as I can. I hold and squeeze. That is now a single leg Roman deadlift. I am a left leg now being used to squeeze back. The key points there, is hinging those hips back as far as you can, keep the shoulder blades pinned out, then squeezing those glutes to race through the move.